So the Quintero staging system has basically been adopted all over the world. It is a very practical way of assessing patients with twin-twin transfusion syndrome. It has very clearly defined parameters that anyone can follow. And it has withstood the test of time. I published this in 1998 and many years later, it still holds and allows us to evaluate and tell patients how severe their particular condition. The Quintero staging system allows uh, both the colleagues and the patients to know how severe their particular TTTS case is. People have asked me, how did you come up with this classification system? What I realized when I started evaluating patients with twin-twin transfusion syndrome is that not all the cases presented in the same way. I decided to uh, analyze what was the difference in the different presentations. So for example, we would get a phone call from a colleague saying, hi, I have a patient that has a mild case of TDDS. Or hi, I have a, mild, I have a patient that has a severe case of TDDS. So we didn't know what that meant. So by noting that they don't present in the same fashion, I basically came up with a classification that helps us say how severe is the disease for each particular case. And the staging system that I proposed has five stages. In the first stage, on ultrasound, you can still see the bladder of the donor twin. They all have, regardless of the stage, the discordance in amniotic fluid volume, one more than eight centimeters deep and the other less than two centimeters deep, regardless of the stage. But in stage one, you can still see the bladder of the donor twin. In stage two, after an hour of observation on ultrasound, you cannot see the bladder of the donor twin. So a stage two patient is more severely affected than a stage one patient. In stage three, the blood flow studies of either twin are very abnormal. When we say very abnormal, that means that they are not above a certain percentile or some other norm that you can look at a table. No, they are either present or absent, the blood flow studies, the abnormalities in the blood flow studies. So in stage three, either the umbilical artery shows no blood flow at the end of the cardiac cycle is called absent end diastolic velocity, also abbreviated as AEDV, or the umbilical vein shows bumpy pulsatile flow, or the ductus venosus, which is a vessel that runs through the liver of the fetus, shows either no flow or backwards flow in a segment of the cardiac cycle where it's supposed to always show forward flow. Either twin can have any of these abnormal Doppler studies. So you can have stage three donor or stage three recipient or stage three donor recipient. In stage four, the babies have gone into heart failure, one or both. That is shown on ultrasound with fluid that accumulates and extravasates in different parts of the body at the level of the scalp, at the level of the chest, at the level of the belly. So there is fluid accumulation in the baby. That means the baby went into heart failure. In stage five, one or both babies have passed away. Now, the staging system has several features that are uh, very important to note. They may not be apparent when you first uh, read the staging system, but they have a purpose. They all have a purpose. First of all, I call this stage, not type. That suggests or implies that babies can have different degrees of severity, meaning it's the same condition, but one, one patient can be more severely affected than another or less affected than the other. Because of that, the Quintero staging system also uses Roman numerals. That also gives the or implies that the higher the Roman numeral, the more severe the disease. The third aspect that is 
peculiar or the characteristic of the, of the system is that all of the parameters that we evaluate are either present or absent. And that facilitates, it makes it very practical to use. And virtually in every ultrasound lab in the world, they have the Quintero staging system. And it's very easy to follow because either the bladder is visible or not visible, or the Doppler stories are abnormal or they're not abnormal, or there's high drops or there's no high drops. So it's very easy to, very practical. The uh, importance of the staging system is not only that it established a common language amongst physicians, but also that it helps us evaluate the prognosis when either nothing is done or when symptomatic treatment is offered. Symptomatic treatment is when you simply take off fluid from the sac of the recipient twin. And we did a study that showed that the more advanced the Quintero staging uh, stage was for that particular patient, the worse the prognosis you know, for that particular patient it was. So that's the origin and the importance of the Quintero staging system.